We're at the PGA Merchandise Show where three brave souls are here to compete for the chance to outsmart you. Everybody and welcome back to Golfweek.com's Outsmart. I'm Asher Wildman, being joined by, of course, the in-house guru, Sean. How are you doing today at the show? I'm great, Wildman. There's no place better to do my show than, than the biggest show in golf. Okay, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves there, head-on right. show. Okay, but gentlemen, we have three new contestants. Here we go. Round one. I'm going to give you a topic, and one by one, you must provide me with an answer. Okay, it's going to be a list format. However, if somebody doesn't get it correct, don't worry. Your other two competitors must also give me an answer for them to move on to round two. Ready? Here we go. Since 1993, 16 different players have won the Players' Championship. Name them. Start with Evan. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is correct. Hal Sutton. Hal Sutton is correct. VJ. VJ is incorrect. Sean, give me some names. Uh, we got Phil Mickelson. How about, uh, boy, uh, Greg Norman. Yeah. Steve Elkington. Yeah. Nick Price. Yeah. All right, well, gentlemen, Noah and Evan, you guys get to move on to round two. Keith, thank you for playing. I'm sorry. That's all, that's all she wrote. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the merchandise show. And when we come back, it's time for round two of Outsmart. So let's now meet our contestants. My name is Evan Osteen. I'm from the Orlando, Florida area. I play out of Rio Pinar Country Club. Love you, Mike Regner. I think that I'm going to beat Sean just because, I mean, you take a look at me and take a look at him, I think I have the vast knowledge that somebody who's going to just uh, take him down. Hi, my name is Noah Zelnick. I'm from Bronx, New York. I work for Sky Caddy. I'm also a caddy on the PGA Tour. Uh, my home golf club is River Hills Country Club in Valrico, Florida. And I look forward to kicking Sean's butt with the gold club he's holding. Welcome back to round two of Outsmartin'. Guru, how do you feel about today's competition? Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm not here to be charming though, Asher. I'm here to answer questions. All right, well, let's get the show on the road. Gentlemen, here's how round two is gonna work. I'm gonna ask each of you five questions. All right, we're gonna do two rounds, so you're each gonna have a total of 10. Highest score moves on, okay? First topic is, did this player win an NCAA individual title? So you must say either yes or no, and it'll be correct. Understand? Evan better get this one right. Evan, He's you better coach. get this right. All right, you ready? Yes. Here we go. Did this player win an NCAA individual title? Bob Tway. Bob Tway, yes. Wrong. Hale Irwin. No. Wrong. Scott Verplank. Yes. Correct. Jay Haas. Yes. Correct. Lenny Watkins. Yes. Wrong. Two out of five. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Got another topic. All right, Noah, are you ready? Let's hope. Same topic. Here we go. Ooh. Did this player win an NCAA individual title? Tom Kite. No. Wrong. He was co-champion with Crenshaw in 72. Tom Watson. Yes. Wrong. Raymond Floyd. No. Correct. David Duvall. No. Correct. Scott Simpson. Yes. Yes, he won two. All right, three out of five. Not bad. All right, so Noah, we're going to start with you in round two. Okay. We all know who David Faraday is, right? Correct. He's wrote some books, so I'm going to give read some titles, and you must tell me if it was a book that he wrote. Okay, it's either true or false. Here we go. First one. Was this book written by David Faraday, true or false? I stole Gary McCord's lunch money, true or false? False. Correct. An idiot for all seasons. He did not write it. Wrong. It's not as bad as it sounds. How to Survive Getting Hit by a Truck. Did not write it. Correct. Somewhere in Ireland, a village is missing an idiot. Yes. Correct. The 19th hole is a par six. No. Correct. Four out of five. Wow. Evan. Tough, tough, tough. You have to get all five, just a tie. All right, same topic, here we go. A nasty bit of rough. No. Wrong. If I were Tiger Woods, I'd buy Australia. Wrong. Correct. Faraday rhymes with popularity. No. Correct. David Faraday's totally subjective history of the Ryder Cup, a hardly definitive, completely cockeyed, but absolutely loving look at golf's most exciting event. I'd say yes. That's correct. Everything I say is funny because of my accent. Yes. Wrong. Three out of five. Thank you. Thank for, you for thank having you. me. I got to take the, the hybrid. Thank you for playing. And when we come back, a one-on-one -on -one showdown with Noah 
and smarten. Welcome back to the final round of Outsmarting, where Noah is getting ready to go one on one with the great one, Sean Martin. Noah, well, congratulations on making the finals. How do you feel about Smart here? I, I'm gonna enjoy myself here. Okay, good. This is gonna be fun. I, uh, I don't want his satellites beaming answers into his head. Hey, hey easy on the company. We got all right here. We'll let you know how far you are. He's about a yard from me, just in case you didn't know. All right, gentlemen, here's how the final round is gonna work. I have three different topics, and today's categories are who said it, so you're gonna have to tell me who said the quote, Pebble Beach, and Ryder Cup. Nine questions total. Each qu topic has three questions, ranging from one under to two under, and then an albatross is three under. First I thought one this was golf trivia. That's not math questions. Five, first one of five under wins. You are allowed one mulligan, so I will read you the topic and the point value. Okay. And if you don't want to play it, you can pass. However, he has a pass too. So if he doesn't want to answer it, he can pass it right back. Okay. First one to go OB twice, you're out, game's over. Or first one of five under wins. Sean, this is your show. Pick a card for Noah. I like this. Hopefully this is a, a math question for Noah. Here we go. Oh, fantastic. What is the score? No, I'm kidding. This is who set it to go to two under. Do you want to pass or play? I'll play. Here we go. Here's the quote. If Ben Hogan saw that, he'd puke. If Ben Hogan saw that, he'd puke. I think Noah's gonna puke. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I'm a little nervous here. Um, can I buy a vowel? You cannot. You not know it? <laughs> okay. Um, let me give a. Bobby Jones. Wrong. Do you know it's Martin? Uh, is it Gary McCord in reference to Jim Furyk's swing? You're cl well, no. No. It was Johnny Miller regarding Craig Perry's swing. Ah. Uh, All right. Oh. All right. So is that a wash or I both missed one? No, you just got one strike. So now you're gonna pick a card for Smart here. Whoop, which one? That one there? Yeah. Here we go. Ryder Cup for two under. You want pass or play, Sean? No, let's play it. Here we go. Name the future site of the 2010 Ryder Cup. Uh, Celtic Manor in Wales. That is correct. Nice job. You're at two under. Here we go. Pick a card. Let me spread them out. Whichever one you want. Which one you want there? I like to go in the middle. Right, right here. Right in the middle. Here we go. Noah, Ryder Cup for, to go, get to one under. It's a birdie question. You want pass or play? Ryder Cup. Play. Here we go. In what year did Jack Nicholas concede Tony Jacklin a short par putt for the match to end in a tie? An action that is widely considered the greatest gesture of sportsmanship in Ryder Cup history. 1978? No. Was it 1971? Man, you're both off today. It was oh. 1969, but you got the question wrong. That was your second strike. Noah, I'm sorry. Got to take you, the, Got to take the club from you. Thanks, man. Walk of shame is right down that way. Thank you, Smartin. I gotta be honest. You got the victory. <laughs> that was not my best performance. But you I'm won. You won and won over today. Yeah. I. Uh, I'm glad those weren't my questions. Else I'm gonna make that walk. Okay. It's so luck of the draw, though. So you gonna get ready for the next one? Uh, I'm gonna study a little bit. Okay. No partying tonight. No, I might hit some balls though. Okay. All right. All right. For Sean Martin, I'm Ashley Wildman. We will see you next time right here on Outsmartin.